Okay, so we're going to look at um, exponential decay. of cesium-137, so cesium-137 is an isotope of cesium and it decays from, from 137, uh, cesium-137 into something else and it emits radiation when it does that. So for our example, Okay, so cesium-137 has a half-life of 30 years. I think this is one of the things that, that um, is part of the pollution from, from the... Um, nuclear reactor in Fukushima that, where there was a disaster. So this, maybe not though, but anyway, you don't, this stuff right here, around, having this around is terrible, uh, is my understanding. But, um, and it takes, even after 30 years, half of it will be replaced by something else, but that's only half of it. So then another 30, and that, you know, you'll get half of that. So in 30 plus 30 is 60 years, you'll have one fourth, and another 30, then you have one eighth. So it really depends on how much you begin with. If we begin with 200 milligrams of cesium-137, how long will it take until only one milligram remains. Okay, so our solution is uh, more or less based on our formula, A equals A zero e to the negative kT, where k is equal to ln two divided by h. And so for this situation, A0 is equal to, our initial amount is 200, so that's the starting amount. And then, so we start at 200, and then we are remaining, we remain, you know, one. That's what's going to be remain. H is the half-life, and that's 30. I mean, I imagine that's an approximation. And um, so we just put everything in there. So let's see, when you put, let's just sort of maybe break this down, or not break it down, let's put this together actually. Okay, so if I put the K in there, that's what I get. So therefore I'm gonna get 200 equals, no, I don't want that, I want, 1 equals 200, negative ln 2 over 30 times t, and then we're going to find t. Okay, <clears throat> so what we want to do is uh, always, when we're solving for an, uh, an unknown that's sitting up here in the exponent, we always want to isolate the exponent, so I'm going to write 1 over 200. And then I move on to the next step, which is apply ln. So I'll ln 1 over 200 equals ln e to the negative ln 2 over 30 t, and ln and e cancel out. By the way, this is also ln 200 to the minus 1, and that minus 1 can be brought to the front. So these ln and e cancel out. And see, see, when I bring that to the front, that makes it negative ln 200. And then I multiply both sides by the reciprocal, and the negatives cancel out. One of the things is don't try to, to do some 
cancellation with a 2 and the 200. Remember, if, if you expand this ln 200, you would use the, uh, a, a sum rule, or a product, which becomes a sum. I guess they call it a product rule. So it's, it doesn't cancel out. Um, and that's t. And then, just sort of to make it more interesting, you can put that in a calculator. And we get 229315685 it keeps going on forever. So that's about 229 years. So if you start off with 200 milligrams, you still have after 229, one milligram. Okay.